Hi guys, Ben here with the lighthearted video today. Today we're going to be taking a little bit of break from like commentary, content, match reviews, that sort of thing. We're going to do something a little silly, a little zany, because uh, I had a very interesting conversation the other day where somebody told me I had sinned in the world of Dead by Daylight. I didn't know it was possible to make uh, a biblical sin while playing DBD, uh, but apparently that is possible. And I was informed of that recently the other day <laughs> by somebody in a game that I had faced. Obviously I beat them and they took the very uh, mature route of uh, getting mean about it, but uh, I've never had a situation where somebody decided to try to bring out my Christian guilt on me. I was raised in a religious family, <laughs> but I've never had somebody try to bring religious guilt out on me, but hey. Let's go ahead and roll it. Fortunately, there is going to be parts of this that are missing because, well, I went to make this video today and I found out that this person had deleted all of the comments from our conversation. Luckily for this goober, I saved probably the most important part of the conversation. So I'm going to catch you up real quick. So I faced them as the Zoomorph in a game of Dead by Daylight and I beat them. And then just very ominously with no further explanation, they just put pay to win in, in the in the end game chat and then they vanished. You can tell they were gone because if you don't know, you can go to the match settings section after a match and as long as their ping is gone that person has left the lobby so they just said pay to win and then left the lobby however i noticed that they have the ability to comment publicly on their profile so i wanted some further elaboration to which they told me the reason that they said pay to win was because i was playing the xenomorph so by buying dlc in the game i was pay to win i was cheating and I astutely point out that that survivor was using perks that were not on the character that they were playing. So they uh, had, in a sense, also committed this bad thing of pay to win by buying other characters and getting their teachables and using them on their survivors. So I questioned, why are we not the same in this scenario? But this is where we go off the rails because this is where he absolutely pops off for whatever reason. He says, good point, but can't get the alien tale from Shrine of Secrets, which is what I'm referring to as pay to win. You paid $5 to uh, heart, 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 heart someone. Uh, we're going to leave that out, but I'm, I'm, you, you know what he said. You know what he said. Anyone you want from any powder or window, like when you stab me across the gap, and I won't be able to do the same without spending money on the game. I don't know how to break it to you. I don't think as Survivor you're going to be able to do that either way, but that's neither here nor there. This is where he really hits us. He's, this is where he really hits us. He says, we both sin. We both sin. You and I are the same. You and I are not so different. He says, we are both the same. But I think what you did outweighs what I did in terms of pay to win. So he admits that he is also in the trenches here. <laughs> he has also disappointed his religious family by also sinning. But your sin's bigger than my sin, so it's fine. <laughs> Which is like... There's a lot to di digest and unpack there. Um, I did not know that purchasing DLC in a game was was bad, at, at the very least, much less uh, threatening my religious standing uh, with my... I mean, I like I said, grew up in a religious family. Uh, I do want to see them soon. I'm going to go visit them soon. I don't know how I'm going to bring it to them. I bought DLC in a video game. Hopefully, they will forgive me. But apparently, according to this guy, that is that is, that is a sin. I don't know. I... I felt like I pay attention when I was growing up to the Ten Commandments. Uh, I don't think that uh, they left a tablet up there somewhere saying don't buy DLC, but I don't know, maybe it was just too much for a round trip. I don't know. He continues on to say that it's like paying for a nuke and I get a knife and we both paid for it, but I'm pretty sure your nuke is going to blast us and there's nothing I can do with my knife. There's just a very, very uh, elaborate explanation there. Uh, also part of Brand's backstory, I was a teacher for a long time and I was a social studies teacher. I, I, I don't remember any knife versus uh, nuclear bomb fights in history, but... I don't think this is the same thing. I'm just going to go out on limb here and say it's not the same thing. Uh, and of course, I just respond to him saying, so I've sinned by purchasing a DLC. Got it. And he sticks, he sticks his, he sticks his ground here. He, he doubles down. He says, yes, this man could not hold the L so much that he's like trying to pass it off to not only me, but to like the entire Christian community. <laughs> you have committed sin and you will be punished. You are no longer getting into those pearly white gates. You are just done for. Um, and he doubles down. He, he, he's being straight up. He's being, as the kids say, dead ass. So I, you know, decide to uh, obviously call the bluff there and say, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, perhaps maybe purchasing DLC in a video game does not make you evil. Hot take though, what do you think? <laughs> then he comes back with, are you serious or what? We both do heart, 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 heart. In a video game that you decided you needed me to elaborate on my end game words. You do whatever you do and I'll do whatever I do, brother. You're taking this way too serious. There is a lot to unpack there again. I am the one taking it too serious. I am the one that took it too seriously. 
I committed sin by buying a DLC. I am apparently going to go to hell because I purchased DLC in a video game and then used it in a game with another player. And that is something that I seriously need to think about. And at least I am in the company of other sinners, but they are uh, unfortunately not as bad of a sinner as I am because I purchased the Xenomorph and they purchased a good perk. Um, so I'm really in the doghouse now. Uh, with the big man upstairs. I just don't understand the, the logic here of like, hey, uh, you, you, I took this too seriously. You're the one that updated this to like biblical proportions. The, like I have, I have done something so wrong that like my path into the afterlife has been screwed forever. Uh, but yeah, but I'm the one that took it too seriously. Yeah, that was me. I'm the one that escalated the situation. I was just asking questions. This, you know, what's funny. This is a good, this is a very, very good life tip for you just out there in the real world is like, if anybody is being like really, really obnoxiously, like obviously super wrong or super dumb, the best thing you can do is just ask more questions because what's going to happen in that situation is they're there. The more they talk and the more they elaborate on their dumb point, the more they are unable to avoid. Oh God, what I'm saying is probably so crazy <laughs> and so out there that like maybe Maybe even through my own bias, I'm starting to realize maybe this isn't it. Maybe this ain't it, Chief. <laughs> maybe what I'm saying is not it. Because they have to literally go through it and elaborate on it and say it more out loud. And they're like, oh, God, wait a minute. <laughs> so I was just asking more questions. But hey, apparently I took it too seriously. And then, of course, I'm kind of like taking the piss here. Uh, I just want to understand sin is evil. And you said I sinned by buying DLC in a video game. I still want to get into heaven and I have a religious family, so I can't it can't go down like this. <laughs> so if you said I sinned, I need to avoid that. Let me know so I don't go to hell. Um, at that point, he just says, I love you. And then pans all the comments. Um, I'm glad that like at the tail end there, he kind of realized, especially with that last uh, comment that I left, he's like, wait. This guy is not serious. <laughs> this guy is not actually that pressed. He just finds the situation very funny. I'm glad he came around at the end and also found it funny. I'm sad he deleted everything because we missed like two comments in the beginning of this. That was good context for how this all started. But, you know, Papa Brands gotcha. We explained everything. So, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I just usually on this channel, we talk about like, you know, the balance of the game how to avoid negative situations uh you know just is the game dying just a lot of like you know even if it's not uniquely negative stuff just a lot of like very thought big big thought stuff um so i don't know i just kind of want to make something that's like very lighthearted and doesn't require you to think you can just sit down go hee hee ha ha and then right into the sunset um so yeah uh <laughs> that's it for today hopefully it was just a fun silly little video uh and uh i i hopefully this guy's out there having a great time uh so hopefully he's not accused other people of sitting <laughs> just because they do something that he doesn't like in a video game that's gotta be blasphemous or something right like he's gonna get struck by lightning randomly at some point just because he's out here just accusing a bunch of people of committing sin when they're not i, I mean i guess like a lot of religious figures do that anyway, but like that, that's gotta be bad somewhere, right? Like that's also gotta be sinful. Like if we're if we're flip side, devil's advocate. If, if I'm sinful by buying DLC, which is clearly not something that crazy to uh, really in, incite that level of intensity. Like at some point, you got to be making the big man upstairs mad because obviously you're invoking that that level of seriousness for no reason over and over. So like. He, he gotta take issue with that at some point but yeah anyways funny video hee hee haha -ha. hopefully you enjoyed it if you do make sure you leave a like and leave a comment down below that way i know that i can do more silly funny videos like this if it's just a one-off and you hate it like i, I don't know it, it, it's it's one time i upload daily chill it's fine but yeah I, I appreciate you all for hanging out and thank you for watching but like i said i do upload daily so we'll see you tomorrow but if you do not i'll see you when i see you goodbye